if you are just joining us and you've not subscribed kindly subscribe to this channel please just click on the red button turn on the notification bell and voila hello my neighbors oh it's been a while and i'm so glad to be back to us you know a lot of things happen but one thing i've learned about life is that life is a fighting territory once you stop fighting it gives you whatever it has but if you keep fighting you have the opportunity to get what you want out of life so this is me and i am back and better my name is Emil Dattinetere Mani and I am your neighborhood psychologist. If you're just joining us for the first time on this channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you know when next we do a video. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like our videos, and drop your comments as questions on the comment section. And we will we'll always acknowledge it. Today, I want to talk about something very, very interesting. You know, it's interesting to me because, because I have been away for a while and it's been a long time before the camera and a lot of things has happened in between that has the capacity to make me not come back here at all. But in, like I said earlier, we just have to keep fighting. So I came up to talk about a very important thing that everybody, every one of us have to um, know and learn to do and that thing is starting over starting over again starting afresh there are so many reasons why we might want to start all over again want to start afresh the same way there are so many limitations to starting over again sometimes life presents us with things that we didn't plan for you know we, 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 we set out with zeal, with everything in us, with our finances, um, with everything, all the ideas, all the wisdom, all the knowledge that we have, we set out, we just have this big goal to achieve and we want to hit it, we want to, to make sure it happens just exactly the way we planned and are working for it. And life now brings something and throws at you with darts and stones and you're wondering, Will I ever be able to achieve this goal? Can I ever get back to who I used to be? If I came back to the screen, to this camera, that means you definitely have to go back. <laughs> yes, there is every possibility that you can come back to what you used to do even better or even different. Okay, there are opportunities for you. Yes, you can go back. Yes, you can do it again. Despite the failed relationships, yes, you can date again. You have, you can marry and you can have beautiful children and have a wonderful family. Yes, there's a possibility of happy, having a happy ever after. You failed in businesses. There's still a possibility for you to come back in business and hit it big. And it's not just about making the money. You're going to establish something that leaves you, something that employs people you know there is a possibility for you to start um, your social media life again probably you've made a mistake in the past and things just got out of hand and you 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 lost the confidence to show up online again to show up uh, to, to your to your downliners to your followers you're so ashamed to start all over again yes you can still do it because don't have to stop fighting. So I I gathered about five tips for us to talk about five tips on how to start over again. Five tips on how to start afresh again. And I hope that you follow you through. And if you learn something in the process or you have something to add, you can quickly write down in the comments. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. The first thing on our list is find your strong reason. Find your strong reason. What's your why? I always call it the capital letter W, H, and Y. What's your why? Why do you want to start all over again? Why do you think you need to start afresh? Do you need to go back to 
your business to dating again to job hunting again to making friends again to um you know why do you want to start again why do you want to start studying again why do you want to start all over again what's the reason you have to keep fighting why is it because of a past experience maybe you just want to 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 show yourself that you're capable that you're beyond what people have said you are that you are better than everybody has made you to believe maybe you want to prove to yourself that you can do whatever you set yourself to do that you you, are, you plan to do that you have the capacity to achieve it that you have everything within you to achieve whatever goal you've set to achieve maybe you want to prove to yourself that this idea this vision that i have it is what it is what putting my resources it is what giving my best that it is viable it's something that will work it's something that will better our life i have a favorite quote that i learned that quote says that you should be ashamed to die if you have not made any reasonable impact to your world. Wow, that hit me on a spot that, man, I just cannot do anything but start over again. You should be ashamed to die if you've not made any impact in your world. There is so much locked up inside of me. I know there is so much that people are going to learn from me. I know that there is so much that that so much knowledge that I have to give. I have comfort inside of me to give. I have encouragement to give to people. I just have so much. I can't just let myself, um, you know, be stagnant. I, I can't just stay at a spot and watch life just fizzle and, and come and go. And each day don't come, darkness comes, light comes. And then day and night, and I just keep living without making any impact. I just can't watch myself that's my strong why that's my strong reason i want to do something that will lead me something that even when i pass on i just have to keep people just have to keep ripping from there people keep ripping from it something that leaves me that's my strong why making an impact to my world that's my strong why recently we lost one of our favorite singers um, nightbird um she she was a cancer patient i'm sure you know her story but even from the hospital bed she came for america got talent and and she sang her own song she has done a lot of things in the midst of dirt in the in the face of dirt and i learned that courage is not is not um is not the absence of fear but doing something irrespective of the fear that you have she irrespective of the fact that she was sick she was dying she never let it stop her she just kept pushing kept doing things and her life today has become a motivation for a lot of persons this could be your own story if you decide not to let life throw you off balance if you decide not to allow the things that has happened to you to limit you you have to find a strong reason to keep going okay number two you have to accept what has happened. Accept the situation. Accept the fact, the, the past. Don't deny it. Don't deny it. Rather, defy it. I said, what? Do not deny the situation. Don't deny the past. Don't deny the current circumstance. Do not deny it. Do what? Defy it. Accepting what has happened to you, accepting that yes, people have failed you or that you made mistakes, accepting that you would have made better choices does not mean giving up or giving into failure. It just means that you are courageous enough to let go of what has happened to you, to make further steps, to go past what has happened to you and to you know, you know, make further changes, to become a better person. Acceptance is not defeat, it is courage. You, it, it will make you one of the strongest persons on earth to accept what has happened and to go past it and to move on. So I want you to, to, to reflect, think about it. What has happened? What happened? What, what led to it? Own it. Take responsibility for what happened. Even if it's someone that um, has hurt you you let them hurt you and you have to accept the responsibility that i let them hurt me and i'm not going to let it happen again yeah you can go back to being nice 
for not being foolish enough to allow it happen to you again. Okay? Accept what has happened because it will help you to you know what to do and what not to do again as you are starting over. Number three in our list is use your mind. Whoa! The mind. I don't know what to explain how important that tool is, your mind. But before you can use it, you need to own it. You need to own it. It is your own mind. It is Imelda's mind. It is not failure's mind. It is not negative thoughts mind. It is my mind. I control what happens. I control the information that goes through it. I control the information that it processes. It is my mind. I tell you what to do. And one of the ways to start using your mind after you have failed or, or gone through some failures or breakups or heartbreaks is to restructure your mind. Get rid of those things that make you feel that you're, you've done the worst thing that anybody can ever do or the worst has happened to you or that you can't go past it. Get rid of those things. Restructure your mind to think positively again. That is the best way to get rid of negative thoughts. Get rid of those negative thoughts by thinking positively. By thinking that, okay, it has happened, but we have to move on. And I, okay, I accept that, yes, I, I made a mistake. I accept that I did... I didn't make um, the necessary inquiries I need to make or I accept the fact that okay some people have failed me but I have to move on I need to make more friends I need to make new friends people matter to me people mean a lot and I have to get past it use your mind restructure it to think positively live in the present learn to live in the present another way to use your mind learn to live in the present forget about what has happened in your past Focus on the moment. Focus on what you tend to achieve. Practice gratitude. Be grateful for what where you are at the moment. It might be you might be dying. You might be in the process of death, but you're not dead yet. So appreciate the life that you have. The fact that you are still breathing in and out. Appreciate the fact that you still have life in you. You still have opportunity to make a change. Appreciate the fact that you have today to make those changes that you've always planned to make. Then, you know, use your mind to, to, to learn new things. Use your mind to learn new things. I want you to know something. Negative thoughts never die. They don't die. They just stay by the corner waiting for you to slack back so that they can come in and feed on you again lead you into depression, anxiety, and all whatnot. So you have to maintain your mind by listening to motivational talks, attend workshops, seminars, learn something new, educate your mind, learn about businesses, read books on marriages, relationship, dating, study materials that will help you get past where you are to where you want to be. This is one of the ways to use your mind. It's a powerful tool that is accessible to you. Own it and use it. The fourth on our list is make structural adjustment. Make structural adjustment. How do you make structural adjustment? If you have, um, maybe you let yourself eat a lot of things and maybe you got fat, you can practice dieting. Practice dieting, choose the kind of, um, very, or draw up a menu that you work with. Draw up a menu that you can work with, change your diet. If you've, if you've gone through maybe a heartbreak or something terrible has happened to you, hit the gym. Exercise your body, sweat it out. Exercising makes your mind to work better, it makes you focus, it gives you renewed energy. It helps you to do what you have to do per day. It keeps your mind away from the things that are happen and focus you and keep you focused on the moment. So do structural adjustment, behavioral adjustment. I learned something from Liz Brown while he was um, talking about how he got past the fact that they call him they called him dog twins. He was a black among the whites and often that his spare its mother threw away and someone picked him up. You know how he got past those things. One of the things he did is that he kept this mantra, OQP. OQP means only quality people. Keep people who talk 
um, and important things to you, people who make you believe that you have the capacity to do what you, whatever you said to do. Believe in the fact that you can do whatever your mind said to do. Okay? Make adjustment, change your environment. You can leave the place that you've been living before. If you have the opportunity, maybe the environment reminds you of your past failures. You can relocate. If you have the capacity to do that, relocate, change your environment. Or take a break, move. Move out of the town. Go somewhere else that will give you, afford you the opportunity to think. Make those adjustments. Exercising, dieting, studying, education, workshops, seminars. Make those adjustments. They will help you to keep your mind focused on the fresh start. Okay? All right, my neighbor. I hope you're learning something. If you're just joining us, please like our videos, drop a comment, subscribe to our channel. Okay? Finally, number five to 50, set goals and move. One thing about goal setting is that it gives you a direction to what to do, what not to do. If you, if you wake up in the morning and you have nothing planned, nothing to do, you just go through your day, maybe scrolling through your phone, um, or seeing movies. But if you have a goal in mind that this is what I want to achieve today, it keeps you on your toes. It helps you to, you know, and, and just keep going, keep doing something productive with your life. And one thing you have to understand about goal setting is that you will have to be specific and clear about what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it. If you want to lose 10 pounds, be specific. I want to lose 10 pounds. Then you can go um, and you, you can go on to write about your how. How do you intend to? Okay, you, you, you write it categorically, no eating after 6 p.m. If I have to eat, then it has to be fruit. No eating after 6 p.m. Okay, you can also add to this. I have to exercise two hours every morning. Two hours indoor exercise, one hour indoor exercise, one hour outdoor exercise. Or I'm going to register for a gym and give yourself so time, a time frame. Give yourself a time frame to work on it. If it's a business you want to start, you can start by gathering materials on the kind of business you want to start. Start by costing and then you move on to knowing if you have if you need people if you need assistance if you're capable of paying people to do for you work for you or whatever it is that you want to do set specific goals and how you want to do it and as soon as you are done move don't wait do not wait for anything move immediately start working on it do you know why as soon as you're done goal setting and you don't do anything about it very soon you're going to get discouraged and tired of doing anything so it is better of for you, if you set the goals and get moving immediately, when you are still feeling the fire, when you are still passionate about it, get going. Because if you let it go a day or two, you might start having those limitations, those doubts. Can I do it? Can I do it? Are you sure? Can I say, let us let it be? Okay, this is how life is. Now let's keep going. Move immediately as soon as you are done setting your goals. Okay, that is it for five tips on starting over my neighbors i hope you learned something from this i hope you learned something if you have any questions um in the comments drop it in the comment section i'll be sure to respond to them thank you so much for staying up to this moment with us till i come your way next time i'm still your neighborhood psychologist i am your wonderful neighbor and i'll bring you something scintillating next time. <laughs> Bye!